All righty. Well, hey, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. And look, I, I got to admit, I think I'm in for quite a treat this time around because I'm joined by my good friend, and if I may say I'm a fan, of uh, the incredible Ed Scotus, who's oh. been doing a ton of phenomenal work putting together, I don't know, training, education, everything in cybersecurity. And uh, now, again, uh, the annual time of year here, the Sands Holiday Hack Challenge. Ed, it's great to see you, my friend. How are you, for one thing? And then I'd love thank to learn you. everything you're willing to share. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, John. Gosh, I'm a fan of yours. I've loved your work. You've um, really helped Holiday Hack for, for so many years, you know, posting information, helping people learn, helping people play and learn how to play and all the other stuff that you do for the community. It is just a delight. Whenever I get a chance to interact with you, I'm super excited about spending this time with you telling you about Holiday Hack 2024 and I uh, appreciate the opportunity to do so. But personally, let me just say thank you for, for all that you do for the community. And I uh, got to say, man, your hair, it's I, I envy it. Um, it's, it's just a beautiful thing. Well, goodness, I'm <laughs> flattered, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's mutual right back at you. Looks but look, I, I, I'm stoked for holiday hack challenge. It has been a labor of love. Uh, I think I started playing, I don't know, was it way back in like 2015, 2016? I don't remember if it dates even that far back, but okay. what's new? I know it has changed throughout the years. Oh. What's new for 2024? We have completely reimagined it this year. This is the biggest change that we've done in 10 years for holiday hack. We've been doing holiday hack for 21 years now, 22 years. Okay, and, and for, so I wasn't too far off, right? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you're, no, not at all. Maybe some of your folks don't even know what Holiday Hack is. Should I define Let's, that? If you're willing, yeah. A little bit yeah. of background context. So, so you know, what is Holiday Hack? Well, first of all, uh, you know, at the Sands Technology Institute, uh, I'm the president of our college. And one of the things I've been doing for 20 some years is working with my team to create this Holiday Hack Challenge. And the Holiday Hack Challenge is, um, it's many things. I mean, it is, it is a cyber range that is themed around Santa Claus and the elves. You apply practical cybersecurity skills in various challenges to help save the holiday season from, you know, various holiday supervillains. You know, in the past, we've had Cindy Lou Who, age 62. We've had the Grinch in past years. We've had Doctor Who has been our villain. We've had the Tooth Fairy. I mean, there's Jack Frost is a recurring nefarious character. So you have to help save the holiday season by solving cybersecurity skills. You could call it a CTF, but it's, it's more than a CTF. It's a cyber range. It's a little virtual world that you get to hop around in. It's, a, it's an event where you can network with other people and work together as teams. It's it's all of these different things. We release an album of music, custom music that we create just for the holidays. Um, it's all that stuff rolled up into one and it's free. It's 100% free. So that's what Holiday Hack is. But you say Holiday Hack 2024, what is that all about? Well, this year we've changed so much stuff in it. It's like a complete re-envisioning of Holiday Hack. And the biggest thing that players, oh, by the way, we, we have about 20,000 players every year and uh, we're hoping to get even more this year. One of my dreams is to get to 25,000. So please, John, tell all your friends to play. <laughs> uh, your whole audience, I hope they play and tell their friends to play. It's completely free, completely free, um, really. And and registration is coming up soon because you can early reg for it. But uh, the biggest change that people will notice of many changes is we've changed our schedule. In the past 20 plus years, we've launched the second week of December. And people say, oh, hey, you know, I'm excited to see it, you know, December 5th or 8th or 10th, 12th. But, uh, you know, it's kind of a busy time of year for me. Can you give me some love? This year, the Holiday Hack Challenge will launch November 7th, November 7th. So it's like a month earlier. So that's one big change. And and we hope that will get, oh, and, and by the way, you You'll still have the same amount of time as before to do it. You can play through. Uh, the challenge itself will run officially until January 3rd. So November 7th to January 3rd, you got plenty of time. If you're used to playing in December, you can still play in December. But if you want that extra month earlier, you've got it. But another thing worth pointing out is you can always play year round. If you want to play Holiday Hack in July, you can. It's not competitive. It's only competitive for that January 3rd deadline. But if you want to practice, you can practice anytime. In fact, if you want to play Holiday Hack 2023, you can go there right now. You just, you know, just do a, a Google search for Sans Holiday Hack. It'll be your top hit. So, so the first thing is we're going to launch earlier. Any comments, thoughts on that, John? That's number one. Well, I, for one, am ecstatic to hear it because I tend to spend a lot of the holiday season uh, with family and loved ones. And I, I got to play the good boyfriend. So we'll go to uh, my girlfriend's parents and her family. Uh, so I want to spend time with them, but I also want to just kind of sit in a corner on my laptop and play this capsule flag you. competition. So I appreciate a little bit of extra time, at least getting, you know, uh, hey, some November and some 
some opportunity and runway before the festivities kick off. <laughs> That's so cool. That's awesome. Next thing is we're going to slice it up. It's not going to be a single giant monolithic release. We've always done that in the past. And if you look at Holiday Hack 2023, what dropped on your head second week of December was this massive world where you'd have to sail around in boats and walk around on six different islands and conquer 23 challenges. It was a lot for somebody to digest. This year, we're going to release it in four parts. On November 7th, that's the first part that we'll release. We're going to call that Prologue. And Prologue's going to be pretty small. Prologue is going to pick up where last year ended up. You're going to be working with the elves to package up all of their stuff on this island chain in the Pacific Ocean. We call it the Geese Islands and getting ready to sail back to the North Pole. There's going to be a couple of mini games that you can hack on the island. But the whole idea of Prologue is you get re-involved with the story. If you've never played before, you'll quickly understand what's going on. It's, it's totally cool. You'll hack a couple of things. You'll set up your avatar. You'll make sure your account is set up and you get used to the game mechanics. That's Prologue, November 7th. Then the following Monday, November 11th, we release Act 1. And Act 1 will have three or four challenges. You're back at the North Pole. You're starting to see the elves interact with things. You're tr starting to get an understanding of maybe what's going on that's nefarious there. That's Act 1, and that'll be November 11th. One week later, we get to Act 2. Act 2 will be another three or four challenges, and that will launch November 18th, and you'll be able to work on that, okay? So again, November 7th, November 11th, November 18th. It's a phased release. We're not going to release any new material during the week of U.S. Thanksgiving. All right, so that's that week of November 25th. Act 3, which is the final act, will launch December 2nd. And that will be all of the content there will be released the second. Another three or four challenges coming there. Then you'll have from December 2nd all the way to January 3rd to work on your, you know, hacking and challenges and such, coming up with the answers and submitting your entry if you'd like to win. So it's in addition to the changed schedule, it's going to be a phased set of releases. Thoughts? I think that's awesome. Again, just to, uh, like you mentioned, hey, it was a, a mountain of material kind of piled on you as it has been historically. So at least mm -hmm. smaller chunks is a very cool thing. And we could always kind of go back to the stuff that was previous, right? Like, hey, yeah, totally. if I miss prologue or if I miss phase one, hey, phase two or phase three rolls around, I can still kind of catch up as needed. You can jump in whenever you want. If you wanted to play the entire thing, according to our normal schedule, starting second week of December, you could. I mean, it's everything will be released for you. If you want to start earlier, you're going to hit these little stopping points where it's like, I've conquered prologue. What do I do now? You get excited about act one. It'll come four days later. Well, I've conquered act one. What do I do? Well, wait for act two. It's coming three days later. Well, I've conquered act two. What do I do? Happy Thanksgiving. Wait for December 2nd. <laughs> so, <okay. laughs> yeah, eat some turkey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or help other people because we want we want people to engage and we have a discord channel where people can, can help you out and such. We have concierges uh, that help folks out. So that's the second big change is the phased release. You want to hear the third big change? I do. Oh, I might have, have a selfish question, but I'm curious if you'll answer it. So I'll let you, I'll let you run with it first. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm ready for your question anytime you want. Okay. Well, I was thinking just as you were mentioning, hey, helping folks out, you know, hey, trying to share the community and get the knowledge and education out and about, I might ask from the old cheesy content creator, uh, air buzzwords, whatever, like, Hey, I'd love to be able to spread the love and I don't know, yeah. either live stream or showcase some of the sweet stuff from Sam's Hall to hack challenge. Uh, is that in scope? now. I know historically it's always been, eh, no, wait, wait till the new year, right? <laughs> it's, dude, you were like, we're totally on the same page here. Like, you know, it's like we're surfing and you're on the wave over there and I'm on the wave over here and just, you just gave me a thumbs up. It. That's the third big change. In the past, we have told people, we've actually forbidden them from posting their answers for Holiday Hack until January so that nobody can cheat or anything like that. We're completely changing that rule. For this year, we're doing this. It's going to be really cool, but to encourage people to learn and to collaborate and to have fun, we we are going to let people post their answers when the next phase gets released. In other words, you're going to launch Prologue, like I said, November 7th. Once Act 1 releases on November 11th, you can live stream or post your answers or do whatever you want for Prologue. Then for Act 1, just wait a week. And when Act 2 launches, you could post all of your answers for Act 1. Then when Act 3 launches on December 2nd, you could post all of your answers for Act 2. But for Act 3, the hardest, the capstone, the end, for that, we ask you to wait till January 3rd. But we want to get more and more people involved. The whole idea is to reach out to more people, to have more people play, to have more people have fun, to have more people learn. And we want folks with an audience like, like yours to be able to communicate with that audience, to say, hey, here's some stuff. Here's what you can learn. Why don't you go ahead and do it? Or I can even show you in live stream. We hope people are going to do this, you know, in various live streaming formats. Maybe it's in YouTube, maybe it's in Twitch, whatever it is. We're really hoping that people will do that and kind of embrace this. 
Well, if really- I may say, I think that is a phenomenal structure and setup. And I think, hey, you know, hat tip, and like, I think it'll work. I think it, I think it will help be a little bit of a megaphone or a hey, good funnel uh, to keep the hype going and to keep the excitement and everyone's enthusiasm for the game, even throughout, hey, the weeks as it rolls through and the holiday season. So uh, I think this is all awesome, personally. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Oh, are you ready? So every challenge can be solved in an easier mode and a harder mode. So you every challenge. So when you get into this challenge, you it might say, well, I want to do the easy mode. Well, just solve it. Just solve it. And you might solve it in the easy mode way. Well, how will you know? Because you're going to be able to get a silver or a gold little icon. Silver means you solved it in the easy way. Gold means you solved it in the harder way. You, you just solve it. And if you solve it, John, and it, it, the thing turns gold, you solved it in the hard way. Good for you. You're done. But if you solve it in the, the silver way, you'll get the, you know, the easier way. You'll get this little silver icon. You'd be, huh, how do I solve it in the harder way? And the harder way might actually be more subtle, more complex. There might be some additional evidence or a, a, a more profound hack that you have to do. And the elves will start hinting you in the hard way. So if you if you just solve it and you get gold, you did it. That's great. If you solve it and get silver and you say, how do I do gold? The elves will give you hints. The elves are non-player characters. They'll give you hints saying, hey, if you want to do this and get a gold, try this, try that, try this. So that you can now, and if you just want to play the whole game on easy mode, that's fine. Or maybe you get to the end of the game and you've solved half of them easy, half of them hard. If you're good with that, we're good with that. But you might get to the end of the game and you've solved some easy, some hard. You can go back and try to solve the easier ones in the harder mode. It's, it's up to you. But we want more people to finish more people to learn more. I feel pretty good if I solve something and find out that it's on easy mode. Good. I solved it. At least I did something. But it gives me the the stretch opportunity to go back and do it in, in the harder mode. So so every challenge. Uh, what are we up to? Is this the fifth change or the fourth change? I think four changes. I, 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 maybe four. A little countdown. <laughs> Stop counting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. So what do you think? Easy mode versus hard I, mode? I, it's fun because it makes me feel a little bit more like a video game that I can casually play, whether it's, I don't know, a little Super Mario kind of Nintendo style thing, exactly. which uh, is very cool. And again, just for like, look, I want the casual experience, some sweet story to narrative to go through for the holiday season. Or look, I want to keep hacking away. I do want to get into the nitty gritty and dive into the technical weeds here. So cool to have both options is that meaning that hey you know you could just coast so to speak to like oh just get the story on its own or are there more i don't know even now future opportunities that's the fifth change but let me just put a bow on the end of the fourth change and that is we were inspired by the super mario series from nintendo kind of say hey when you're when you're playing that game the game kind of lets you solve things in easy mode. But then if you start solving things in harder mode, you can stick with that harder mode. And we're like, what can we learn and be inspired by that? But then we get to our fifth big change and that's what we call playthrough mode. And playthrough mode is where you you know you try to solve a challenge and maybe you can't do it. If you look at our holiday hack work past eight or nine years, only about two or 3% of the people got all the way through every challenge, which I'm happy with. Cause I mean, some of these challenges are really hard, but the thing of it is to see the full story, you'd have to get through the full set of challenges. So only two to 3%, maybe 4% on a good year would actually see the entire story. Well, that's not good. We spend a lot of time on the story, as you know, this fun, quirky, weird story. So now if you get stuck on a challenge, or even if you don't get stuck, you can just hit the playthrough button and it'll advance to the next challenge and you'll see the story advancing. So you could jump into this game and just play through every challenge. Now, obviously you're going to get to a stop, you know, once act one is done, you got to wait for act two to launch. But if you come in December 3rd, you could just play through, play through, play through, play and just watch the story unfold. I guess it's just a little set of, you know, animated characters jumping around and then go back and actually play. So we've got playthrough mode, which is another big, big difference for us. Um, that is very cool. And if you do I, uh, play through, we'll give you a bronze. So you get bronze <laughs> for playthrough, silver for actually having done something easy mode, and then gold for, for the harder mode. Well, actually, if I may, I'd love to pull that thread a little bit uh, because come the end of the game, uh, mm-hmm. you all do an incredible little award ceremony and prizes yeah. and rewards. Yeah. Is that something yeah. we could dance with? Or I don't know, am I missing anything else to showcase here? <laughs> so we do have one other change. What are we up to? Oh, six now? I should, yes. should, yeah. I I've lost fingers. So one other change. This is something 
something that I've wanted for many years and we're, we're almost there. We almost got it finished. And that is what we call cohort mode. So the idea is, well, well, actually there's two changes based on this. Before we get to cohort mode, I got a sixth one for you. Scoreboard, interactive in-game scoreboards. We've Sweet. not done that in the past explicitly because we just figured, well, you just work your way through the challenge. We don't want to overemphasize the competitive nature of this. This is about learning and having fun. But this year there will be an in-game scoreboard. Actually a group of scoreboards. There's the overall scoreboard about how everybody's doing. And then some of the individual challenges or mini games will have their own scoreboard. And they're going to be in this underground cavern. I don't want to give too much away about how it's going to look, but it's going to be really cool. And you'll be able to see the scoreboard. So that's a new thing. There's going to be a score so you can see how you're doing with respect to other players. Very cool. So that's, I guess, our sixth change. And the seventh change is based on the scoreboard, and that is cohorts. So if you've got a group of friends that you want to play against, you'll be able to say, create a cohort, and it'll give you a little, you can choose a name for your cohort, and it'll give you a little string for your cohort. Then you share that with your friends in the cohort. And in addition to the big scoreboard in this underground cavern, there'll be another scoreboard just for your cohort. So you can compete just against your friends and see how they're doing. Or a company can have their own little cohort in there that are competing against each other. So it's not team-based play. You know, teams is where people can collaborate. You could do team-based play just on your, you know, you could just have, you know, five different accounts and you collaborate or even one account that you're all working on at the same time. So cohorts are actually, I think, more useful than teams because now you can set up a friendly little competition between you and your friends uh, or within your own company or government agency or what have you. So this adding the scoreboards opened us up to say, well, wouldn't it be cool to now have competitive cohorts in there? So you'll see that too. So that, if you add it all up, I guess that's seven big changes for Holiday Hack 2024. And you can see we've completely reimagined this sucker. And if you if you add up, you know, two challenges in prologue and three or four in act one and act two and act three, the number of challenges is different this year. It's going to end up being about 13, 14 challenges, which I think is much more digestible than 24 or more challenges dropping out of the sky. So there's going to be a lot of challenges and a lot for you to do. That's absolutely for sure. But it's not quite the commitment in the past that was required to get through the whole thing. Um, so we kind of try to re-envision uh, it this way. This is experimental. Mental, of course, but I, it's it's based on 20 years of learning of us on you know what makes for a good challenge, what makes it to be fun and interesting. Well, my goodness, uh, at least from the outside looking in so far, all of these changes sound like wonderful, new little improvements. Uh, I had not seen or even heard of the rumblings and uh, rumors of the, the cohort technique before. How about that? that is yeah. going to be very, very cool. Drop that one on <laughs> you just now. huh? Yeah. Excellent. It, I think it's going to be pretty cool and fun. I mean, the whole purpose of doing this is it's a, it's a gift to the community. I mean, the, the cybersecurity community has been so kind to me and my team. The, the we feel it's it's our family. It's the people that, that we work with, that we love. We want to lift them up. We want to help train them in new technologies, new ideas. We want them to have some fun. I mean, the goal is for you to learn, to have some fun, a couple of laughs, holiday spirit. This is our way of giving back. The, the, the Sands Holiday Hack Challenge, we always say it's Sands gift to the community. We work really hard on this. We spend a lot of time uh, and a tremendous amount of resources every year on this thing. But this year we wanted to do it all day different, but still delivering this really high quality, family friendly event. You know, a lot of times little kids will play this, you know, the kids will play the video game aspect, you know, seven year olds, 10 year olds, 15 year olds, whatever. And then maybe their parents or even some of the kids are working on the hacking challenges too. So I, I think that's great fun. Also, we're going to have offense and defense and forensics challenges all mixed in with each other. Some OSINT stuff will be in there too. I, I think people are going to really love it. And the story is as weird as ever, maybe even weirder this year. 10% more weird, you know? So, well, my goodness, uh, I cannot wait. I am ecstatic and looking forward to it so much. Uh, and Hey, if I may, I know you got to run. I know you're a busy fella. Uh, but if we totally wrap it up super quick, are there any, Hey, what's the call to action? You know, how can folks dive in? Is it just a Google search holiday yep. hack challenge? Yep. So right now people can do a Google search on Sans holiday hack challenge and it'll be your top number one hit. Go there and you can play the 2023 game. And very shortly, it might be by the time you post this, John, uh, you'll be able to pre-register saying, notify me when this thing launches. Uh, so you'll know. But again, it's going to be November 7th, 11th, 18th, and December 2nd. But you can play the 2023 game to kind of, you know, feel your way through our UI and all that kind of stuff. You could also view many of the answers. You could see who won last year and read their answers. And some of the answers are in video form, so you can watch them on YouTube and such. So you, the call to action is check it out. Uh, maybe play 2023 a little bit just to get a feel for it. 
and register to be notified when 2024 launches. All righty. Hey, let's all do it. Let's all run with it. We'll get that, what, 25,000? All incredible. But <laughs> that would be so And there's prizes. Alrighty. There's prizes too. You can see all the prizes stuff over at the Sand site. Uh, I think you're going to love it. Well, I know you got a dash, my friend, but this is so exciting. And I'll see you at the North Pole. <laughs> John, you're awesome. See you there, buddy. Take care.